Hello, Teresa Perry McCabe here, welcome you, welcoming you to grab a bowl of popcorn and get ready to enjoy a great show. Our feature film, Wonder Woman, was released in 2009 and is a computer animated superhero movie directed by Laura Montgomery with the screenplay adapted from Wonder Woman, Gods and Mortals, story written by Gail Simone and Michael Hellenick. Please allow me to introduce you to the Amazon Princess Diana, daughter of Hippolyta, born of clay. The name Diana comes from the goddess of truth. She was raised as an Amazon warrior princess on Paradise Island, and thanks to a 1987 reboot, the island was renamed Themyscira. Wonder Woman was created by psychologist William Marston who lived in a polyamorous relationship with his wife, fellow psychologist Elizabeth Holloway Marston, and his lover, Olive Byrne. It was Elizabeth's idea to create Diana as a woman. Um, Olive wore wrist cuff bracelet, which clearly inspired Wonder Woman's powerful and indestructible bracelet. Wonder Woman was also given the lasso of truth, which was crafted from the Greek gods of smith and metalworking asbestos. A tiara that could be used as a sharp boomerang. She was also loving, kind, and caring. William Marston wanted a superhero who would rule not by force, but through love. Marston himself gave her a super strength, gave her super strength and hand-to-hand -hand combat skills making her the female equivalent to Superman. She was created to be the archetypical ideal of the greatest woman of all time. Can we say GWOAT? That's a G-W-O-A-T. Her arch nemesis is Ares, the god of war. Her life's mission is to establish world peace. Um, Wonder Woman has been in print for the last 76 consecutive years. Um, correction. According to my math, that's 82 years and counting. From Wonder Woman's origin story, who is Wonder Woman, her origins, history, and impact. It's important to note that Wonder Woman is considered part of the Trinity, the original three superheroes. The Trinity consists of Superman, dating back to 1938, Batman from 1939, and of course, Wonder Woman, 1940. Just like her colleagues, if you can call superheroes colleagues, they all have a secret identity. And Wonder Woman is Diana Prince, referring to masked heroes in the superhero reader. The opening scene of our computer animated movie takes place with a war being waged against the Amazon women who are fighting for their freedom from slavery. Hippolyta, queen of the Amazon, is, is fighting in hand-to-hand -hand combat with Ares, the god of war. Ares makes a crude, a chauvinistic comment about her seeming as eager to meet him on the battlefield as she once was in meeting him in the bedroom. Hippolyta comes right back at him, hoping that he has more skill in the battlefield arena than in the bedroom regarding his last performance there. Pretty good, crude comments. My eyes nearly fell out of my head hearing this war game talk. So parents out there, be aware that your younger ones may have a few questions and there may be some explaining to be done. <laughs> Hippolyta and the Amazonian women win their freedom and are given an island, Themyscira, to live in peace and harmony away from the evils, dishonesty, and distrust of man. Diana, a.k.a. Wonder Woman, meets Steve Trevor after his plane crashes on the island. This is the first time she's ever seen a man. Diana is fiercely independent and is quite a feminist. This trait will be demonstrated throughout the movie in thought-provoking ways. From here, there are twists and turns in the plot of the movie with exciting graphics and color. Of course, there's an encounter with Wonder Woman's arch nemesis, Ares, where Wonder Woman saved humanity from all-out war 
You need to watch to find out. My belief is that comic books and superheroes are created for pure pleasure and entertainment. And this film, I enjoyed about 80% of it. I am not a fan of violence, and for me, it was a bit too much violence. I give this computer animated film a one and a half thumbs up, if that's even possible. Thank you for tuning in to Teresa Perry McCabe's movie channel, new movie review channel here at Keene State College, posting live from Silver Lake. Stay tuned for some more upcoming summer movie reviews. Until then, stay safe and be kind.